Happy Monday, Physical Science. Uh, welcome back to week three of remote learning. Wanted to say uh, good morning to you and also to walk you through a little bit of plans for this week and specifically today. So um, I emailed out the week three work plan to you and your parents yesterday, um, along with a little message about um, grading. So I felt like it was time that I needed to put something in the grade book. Um, so I went through week one and two and gave you a grade based on how many assignments in the first two weeks you had completed. So that's out of like 35 points, which is um, just five points per day that you were active in learning um, during our first two weeks. So I, I said that those grades are definitely not set in stone. Like if, if you don't like your grade, you are more than um, I'll be more than happy to take assignments from you. So if you if you want to turn something in uh, this week, next week, um, kind of whenever, um, I'm more than happy to update your grade. So just know that if you didn't get stuff done the first two weeks, uh, that that doesn't mean you don't get the opportunity to do that. So keep keep stuff coming to me, and I will keep plugging that in for you. Um, but this week we're going to get a little bit back to um, how things used to function or were functioning while we were together in class, being that we had um, a theme each week. So for remote learning week three, uh, we are going to have our um, E's are coming back. So our engage, explore, explain, and evaluate are coming back. And this week we are looking at... Um, the topic of energy. So energy we talked about a little bit when we were starting catapults, but I thought it would be a good thing to go back and look at again. So this week, Monday through Thursday, we are going to um, have an activity a day dealing with energy. So this should look very familiar because we've doing, been doing it all year. Um, but on Monday today, we are gonna do the engage activity which when you either click here or through Brightspace, um, it's going to pull up what looks very similar to the stuff we've done every Monday of the school year. So instead of, uh, it still says on here, copy down the information and answers in your lab notebook. Obviously you don't have to do that. You can make a copy of this and just answer the questions right on here um, so that you have a little bit of information about energy going forward into the week. Um, so it's this one's this home vocabulary, a couple of videos to watch, and then if if you have time to do the roller coaster physics thing, go ahead and do that too. So we are getting ready to talk about energy through that. I'm not going to do the surveys this week um, because I have this tab down here now that says um, what do I need to do, what do I need to submit. So it'll tell you um, for Monday. I want you to turn in those those week three activities either on Brightspace or in an email. In Brightspace, there's a tab under Monday for you to turn stuff in if you want to use Brightspace as a tool to turn things in. Otherwise, you can be um, turning stuff in on uh, through email like we've been doing. This is just for me to see who's who's here and who's active, who's engaged. Uh, but not everything you turn in is going to be graded. Going forward on Tuesday, I will check in with you every day this week, but I want you to know that Thursday, much like when we were in school, um, you see this week three energy evaluation. That is going to be your weekly quiz that will be graded at the end of the week. So everything that you're doing throughout the week is going to lead up to that quiz. Um, and just like when we were in school and you could use your notebook on your weekly quiz, um, obviously you can use anything you've done this week to help you answer the questions on your quiz at the end of the week. So today I want you to just focus on this uh, day one, week three, engage activities. Go on, watch the videos, answer the questions, and I will check back in with you tomorrow morning. Uh, if you have questions before then, send me an email and I will get your questions answered. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow.